Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second Halloween makeup look of the 2021 season. I am so excited about this one. Coffee in hand and makeup ready to go. It is time to just jump right into the spookiness of it all and today we are using these Nightmare Fangs from Spirit Halloween. I saw these and I instantly knew what kind of look I wanted to do with these. So that's what we're gonna be using today. So I'm just gonna rip it on open out of the packaging so we can get a better look here. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised to see that you could actually stick your tongue out through these. Like, look how funny that looks. I just, <laughs> I was having way too much fun with this. So once I kind of placed it on my mouth, had a little bit of fun with it, made sure it fit, it was time to jump into actually applying it. So the first thing we're gonna do is black out our lips and mouth area. And I'm using this Jeffree Star Velvet Trap Lipstick in the shade Pure Hell, which is a very nice black lipstick. And I'm gonna be putting this all over my lips. Don't worry about being super neat with it because we are gonna go in and mess it up because we do have to cover a pretty wide area of our mouth to make sure that it is fully blacked out and whatnot. So I'm just applying this on my lips first and then I'm just taking a brush and kind of spreading that lipstick all around my mouth area. And since the little prosthetic piece does open at the mouth, if you do need to go in later and add some more black in that area, it's definitely doable. So once we have a good starting point for this, it is time to move on with our fresh liquid latex. I told you guys I got some new liquid latex <laughs> and I did and this worked a lot better, let me tell you. So I am taking the liquid latex and applying that all over the prosthetic area and also around my own mouth region where it is going to be hitting. And then once I kind of let that dry for a couple seconds or about a minute or so, I place the prosthetic very carefully over top. You kind of have a little bit of time to move it around where you want it, but once it dries, it is on there and it's not going anywhere. So I made sure it was nice and straight. I made sure it went to where I wanted it to go. And in case any of you are wondering, no, it was not touching my lip piercing. It did not bother my lip piercing at all. Uh, I, it was tall enough to where it just went right over it and I had no issues. So once I kind of just press and make sure it is stuck on there, it is time to focus on those edges, baby. And for that, I'm using more liquid latex on just a little white wedge makeup sponge. And you wanna be pretty liberal with this and this probably does take the longest amount of time. And I'm just taking liquid latex on this makeup wedge and going over all the edges around my entire mouth, well, fake mouth. And you wanna let each layer dry in between and this is just gonna kind of build up kind of like a nice little barrier so you can't really see the edges and it's, it's a lot more effective when you actually have brand new liquid latex to work with. Like this just worked a lot better. So I can't remember exactly how many layers I did. I wanna say maybe four to six, somewhere in there. And again, just letting them dry uh, in between. So here's kind of what it is looking like. Once it is dry, I'm going in with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is in the shade Honey. And on a separate clean makeup wedge sponge, I'm just applying powder over top of that liquid latex. You wanna make sure it is pretty much fully dry. If it's not, you're gonna it's gonna be a mess. So make sure it's dry before you powder it. And I'm also just powdering the rest of my face because why not? And now to make this mouth nightmare fang look a little bit more realistic, it's time to go in with some cream makeup. So I'm using this cream makeup stack from Spirit Halloween. I'm using all of the red shades and kind of mixing them together and going around the mouth, kind of accentuating the dark bloody bits of it and just making it look a little bit more wet and bloody and creepy again because the liquid latex and the powder kind of took that away. So this is basically just to bring it back to life. 
And next, we're going in with my favorite product in the whole entire world, Bloody Scab, also from Spirit Halloween. Not sponsored, by the way. I just, I love Spirit Halloween. And I'm taking a good amount of this on just a little, I think this is like an old nail file I have. Um, and I just kind of scoop it out and place it on the prosthetic and kind of move it about where I need it to make it look good. And it, it <laughs> makes everything look so real. It's so gross but I love it like oh my gosh this is hands down my favorite product ever and just looking at it you can see it just looks so much more lifelike for the surrounding areas of my face I'm going in with some zombie blood spray and I'm just spraying different areas of my face and just kind of letting the blood run down naturally and this just kind of adds to the effect like I just got done eating something or someone you know what I mean uh, and yeah, it just made it look really messy and super cool. After the zombie blood spray, it is time for the big bottle of blood, also from Spirit Halloween, and I'm whipping out my old toothbrush for this, and I am just giving myself some blood splatter all around my face, mouth, all the good stuff. I, oh my, look how cool that looks. Like, doesn't that look so freaking cool? I'm obsessed. But it was missing something, so I added some more zombie blood spray on my neck as well. Just kind of letting that run down naturally. And then the final thing for this look is, of course, Halloween contacts. So we are going to go from my normal chocolate brown eyes to these super amazing, creepy black contacts. These are mini Scarella. I don't know how to say that word. Lenses from Camo Eyes. They were kind enough to send me those for the Halloween season. And they just made the look look so creepy. Like I looked like a possessed zombie. It was, I don't know, I loved it. And just going in and spreading some blood around with a sponge to make it look a little bit more real. And once you add all of your finishing touches, here is what the completed ragged teeth, nightmare fangs, possessed zombie, whatever you want to call it, here is what this look looks like. I love this one. Anything that is creepy, gory, I love because you know what they say there are two types of people in the world the types of people who like to be a little more cute and the kind of people who like to be a little bit gory and I'm definitely the gory kind of girl and I just love how this turned out so so much So for those of you who are wondering, yes, you can talk in this and you can also drink with this as long as you have a straw. Eating, I'm not really sure about, but you can talk and drink for sure. So this would be good for a Halloween party, I think, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this down below. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Out of the two that I've done so far, this one is hands down my favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and give it a huge, huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here. But as the rest of you, I love you guys so much. Happy Halloween, stay creepy, and I will see you again soon. Bye!